On behalf of Mohawk Council, Akwazasana's Department of Health, we would like to thank the community for your patience and cooperation that you have shown in the past several months. Our staff have been working very hard to provide the health services that you need throughout the pandemic, and we know this has been adjustment for everyone. So I'd like to talk about some of the programs within the Department of Health. First of all, I will talk about the Holistic Health and Wellness Program, which is part of our medical clinics. They continue to serve patients and have utilized telephone consultations to limit contact. I'd like to stress the importance of contacting your health providers. Your call is important for your health and well-being. If you're experiencing issues that require immediate attention or just to get an update on how you are doing this pandemic, then call the clinic. Urgent medical appointments are being provided at both locations. We will soon be utilizing virtual video visits to assist in ongoing care for our community. Our mental health counselors have been providing ongoing mental health support by telephone and through Zoom. We know that these times have not been easy and it is cause for much anxiety for everyone and we are committed to being there to help you through it. Traditional medicine has been making deliveries of medicines to make sure you have access to the types of medicine you prefer, even when our building was closed to the public. They are also utilizing Zoom to find ways of engaging the community on traditional topics and maintaining connection with our valued clients and community members. The Akwazasne Mohawk Ambulance Service has designated a committed ambulance unit for any COVID-19 calls to help prevent the spread of the disease. Patients needing an ambulance are also screened twice for COVID-19 on all calls. Upon arrival at your location, your EMTs and paramedics will be all wearing appropriate PPE. For your protection and ours, we ask that you be honest and truthful when they do their assessments for care so that they may be prepared to transport you to the to the nearest appropriate hospital. The Alcazarsne Non-Insured Health Benefits continues to provide claims processing in all of their benefit areas, including dental, pharmacy, optometry, medical supplies and equipment, copay and medical transportation. The medical transportation program has recently purchased a new large van that makes it easier for access. And we also ensure that all plexiglass is available in all of our vehicles. The Home Care Home Support Program is taking extra care, keeping our community members safe when they go into their homes. They also ensure that they wear full PPE on all visits and are tested for COVID every two weeks. Our two long-term care facilities, Jiguanusada and Yakisata, have underwent some major operational changes in order to keep our most vulnerable, our elders, safe. In-person visits resumed outdoors with restrictions. We want to assure our families that our loved ones, that your loved ones were extremely careful while they weren't allowed visitors. And our staff have taken great strides for ensuring their happiness and well-being. We are looking forward to the return of indoor visits. In order to do so, we are ensuring that our resumption plan has been made and approved and we can move forward in the near future. The Mohawk Council of Akwazasana continues to provide COVID testing to our community being provided by our community health program. If you need to speak to someone at community health, you can call 613-575-2341 extension 3220 and ask to speak to a nurse. Community health has received a total of 1,950 COVID related phone calls and has administered a total of 465 tests. Due to the volume of calls, you may be asked to move your number for one of the nurses to return your call. There may be a, white, a wait time for a return call when call volume is high. Your patience is appreciated and your call is very important to our staff. The Department of Health would like to recognize the Community Health Program for their most recent recognition from MPP Jim McDonnell of Stormont Dundas in South Langery for your hard work that has not gone unnoticed. Once again, you won't go off for your understanding as our programs have all undergone major transitions 
in order to ensure that our community and our programs are updated on a daily basis with all of the new pandemic guidelines that have come forth. Now to all of our hardworking staff, we acknowledge each and every one of you for all of your hard work. Now, 